Today I'm going to show you how to snake arms. My name is Goldminka. I'm a wordless performer and a belly dance teacher. And here on my YouTube channel you will get burlesque dancing and tutorial videos for a beautiful you. So if you are interested in this, subscribe to my channel and also press this little bell here. So you will always get a notification every time I publish a video. Yes, and today's video is about snake arms. This is a very beautiful arm pattern you can really use in all your burlesque routines. It always looks very nice and beautiful. And yes, actually, I think it's a belly dance move. So I learned this in my belly dance lessons. And as I'm also a belly dance teacher, you are lucky I'm going to teach you the snake arms today. <laughs> so then let's start. And actually, um, yes, there are many different ways of starting with the snake arms. Uh, for me, the easiest one is the following. So you can directly do it with me together. So you lift one arm and the other arm is down. And here be careful that your shoulder is still down. So if you lift your arm, don't lift your shoulders. So shoulder down and yes, nice elegant arm. And the other one is down. And now we start alternating our arms. So one arm goes down and the other one goes up. Yes, this we do. Yes, a few times up up, up, up. And yes, we always focus on the arm that goes up. And now we do it a little bit smaller and let our arms get softer. So this is already a snake arm. Now we do it smaller and a little bit more soft. And here we are now with our beautiful snake arms. And yes, while um, yes, doing this snake arm move, we always focus on the arm that goes up. As far and as fast, one arm goes up, the other one goes down at the same time. And actually, when doing the snake arm move, you're moving three parts in your arm. The first part is the shoulder, the second part your elbow, the third part your wrist. So it's always shoulder, elbow, wrist in this order. So when going up and going down, shoulder, elbow, wrist. I will show you with one arm. So shoulder, elbow, wrist. Again, going down, shoulder, elbow, wrist, wrist, <laughs> shoulder, elbow, wrist, shoulder, elbow, wrist. And yes, really feel the energy going out, really flowing down. So the energy really flows down out of your rib cage into your arms, into the room. So really keep your arm nice. Don't do something like this. I've seen it all in my belly dance lessons. So really, um, yes, keep your arm nice. Let the energy flow out from your ribcage, shoulder and arm and then out into the room. You can also um, imagine um, you have a broom here and when you go up with your arm, you're painting the wall with this broom. And now when you go down, you have the broom here. You go down and paint the wall with, yes, your broom. So this is a nice imagination you can, um, yes, think of when doing the snake arm. I will, yes, start again with both arms. Um, yes, when you um, do both arms, always focus on the arm that goes up. It's not really easy to do this at the same time and uh, yes, to alternate the arms. 
Actually, um, I was surprised. So when I was uh, practicing the snake arms in my belly dance lesson, lessons, um, I've been very, very surprised how less, um, yes, feelings, I don't, so how less, um, yes, I don't know whether feelings is the right word, but um, how less attentions we have in the movements in our arms. So at, actually this has been very hard for me to do the snake arms. And yes, it took me a while to practice this and I didn't um, expect this. I was very surprised because we use our arms the whole day and at the end it's yes quite um, not very easy to do the snake arm. And uh, another uh, imagination that helped me very much when doing snake arms is uh, the imagination of a water plant. So you can really uh, imagine your arms are, or you are in water, you're a water plant and your arms are moving with the waves. So really, yes, and this uh, goes easier. So really, yes, take the imagination of what and maybe you will feel that uh, it gets a little bit yes you will feel your muscles here you can really shake out everything and then we will start with our snake arms again so you can um, choose for yourself whether you start right away with the snake arms or you can also choose our beginning that we had with one arm up, the other one down. So for practicing, yes, you have to look what's easier for you. And yes, remember your arms nice, energy out, your brooms, and the three points, shoulder, elbow, wrist. And focus on the arm that goes up. And yes, this is uh, snake arms and now we will dance a little. <laughs> now we will dance a little bit with the snake arms. And yes, before we do this, um, I have realized that many of you have not subscribed to my channel yet. So if you miss to subscribe to my channel, you can do this here. Yes, and there's one thing I forgot, uh, the bigger the movement gets, the slower it gets. So if you do it big, then keep it slow. And if you do it small, as you can also do, then it gets a little bit faster. Yes, and now, um, yes, and a second thing. Um, the snake arms is perfect or are perfect for practicing them while sitting on a meditation pillow. So just in case you are lazy and you are watching TV and you are lazy, you don't want to practice, you can nevertheless do the snake arm move. Yes, and now let's dance a little bit with our beautiful snake arms. This is the snake arm move. I like it very much. And yes, if you like them too, then give me a thumb up. And here you can watch my other burlesque dancing videos. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye.